Earlier in the year, we spoke to Ewan over the medium of Zoom on our trade show reports, and fun though that experience was, mm. it's nicer being here in person, and also, not just that, but actually having the product at hand. So we thought we'd go through the same product we ran through again <laughs> uh, in person, and now actually the product is not only out, but that we've both had the chance to use it. So yeah. do you want to tell us a bit more about the Synchro and the Mosquito? Yeah, so we'll start with the Synchro, which was a big crowd favourite. Um, Wild Country's taken that design and just beefed it up. Um, kept uh, the favourite things, like the seven gear loops, um, all the way around the harness, uh, so we, you know, you can get all your gear on board. Um, much bigger waistband, so this is a super comfy harness for sort of long and days. You can feel the support within it as well. Yes, it's I not mean, it's... just a big waistband, it's a big and quite supportive one yes. as well. And super breathable, so Wild Country have added this panel here. Um, the air mesh, so this has got holes all through it, so it does allow the backband to breathe a lot better. So sort of long days multi-pitching, it's just gonna... Not give a total a bit sweat more, fest. Yeah, a bit, bit more comfort. Um, standard four points of adjustment, just to sort of get that really sort of nice close fit, whether you're sort of using it for summer or winter use, um, and just an all round super comfy harness. And who do you foresee this being of most interest to as well? Uh, most interest, probably trad climbers and your big wallers, um, but then guys in winter, you do have your ice clipper slots, and if you just like to spread your gear out a bit more as well, does allow you to do that. <clears throat> so on the flip side, to complement that, you've got the yeah. Mosquito, which is designed at a very different audience. Yeah, so the Mosquito's come into play sort of around the Olympics times, comp climbing, sport climbing, that sort of thing. It is designed as a high-end, lightweight harness, um, but it has a lot of cool features that will allow it to be quite uh, multi-purpose as well. Um, straight away, you can see it's got a pretty big gear loop for such a lightweight harness. So, you know, for single pitch trad, going to be absolutely fine. Um, the key area was I sort of aimed at though, those sort of sport climbers, they are going to love it just for its sort of stripped down minimalist design. Um, this laminated mesh waist belt is going to be super comfy whether you're wearing a shirt or not. And you can see as well that the, um, the actual support is by those two outer edges. You can actually just faintly see that tape yeah. running through. So again, it'll help to spread that load. Exactly. And you know, we've had a wide range of people using it, not just small sport climbers, but bigger people as well. And they've remarked on how comfortable it is for a harness that literally only weighs 220 grams. Um, and all the usual things like wear indicators. Yep, so Wild Country have actually built in it, uh, their new system for the wear indicators. So there will be bright red threads showing um, whenever you're sort of wearing down the harness, which hopefully you won't do very quickly. <laughs> in many years' time from <laughs> in now. In many years' time. Because <laughs> yeah. um, as much as it is a lightweight harness, it is built to be durable. Um, as is sort of the majority of Wild Country kits, so we do want it to last to people. And I think that's a good way to summarise, really, because within a lightweight harness, you've got something that actually is remarkably durable, mm. but also impressively comfortable as well. And yes. If the levels of comfort don't you know, quite match what you want, you have the Fuffing Synchro, yeah. which <laughs> yes. is about as comfortable as climbing. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks ever so much, you, and that's no great. No worries.